Hello and welcome everyone. In the previous episode, we learned about how to use the namespaces, autoloaders, singleton classes, and we actually created a theme class and then we included our the and then we enqueued our style sheets and scripts. In this video, we are going to learn about theme functionalities. So there are different functionalities of the themes that are available. So if you go to the uh, theme handbook in functional themes functionality, you can WordPress provides us with the options to add custom headers, sidebars, widgets, navigation menus, taxonomy templates, comments, media, post formats, internet, internationalization, localization, accessibility, and all of that stuff, right? So we are going to pick up a few of them uh, from here and in order for us to add some of these functionalities WordPress gives us access to some theme support functions and the function that is available for that is called add theme support okay so this registers theme support for a given feature now you'll say to me Imran why is it that theme has to register these supports why can't WordPress core have all of these features already so that the theme developers sh wouldn't be spending that much of time. Well the reason for this is because some of the features might not be used by all of the themes or all of the projects and uh, really then in that case adding those functionality would add an extra load for, to WordPress so it doesn't make sense to add those features by default. In fact I have developed decoupled projects where I didn't even have to include the theme. The theme just had a blank index.php. I didn't require any theme. All I had to do was just use the plugin and add a bunch of features and then uh, WordPress was completely de decoupled so my front-end application was in React. So this, these are some of the reasons why we don't need to add all of the functionalities. WordPress is smart. It doesn't need to add all of the functionality if you're not going to need them for all of the projects so teams can pick up and choose what functionality they want to add and accordingly those features will be added awesome so, so since now we understand that add theme support is going to register theme support for a given feature there are different features you can add for example title tag custom logo uh, you have all bunch of stuff like post formats and then you have post thumbnails custom background custom header so we are going to pick up a few of them uh, from here and just to let you know that if you go on to my repository Aquila and this is what we're building make sure to star the repository to support my work and uh, all of the nodes that are available all of the links that are there of what we have been discussing so far uh, in our case the theme support is already here so you can always go on to this and and check this out just for your reference so it's kind of a information resource awesome so let's begin with the add theme support and uh, what we're going to do is basically just going over here and we have our class Aquila theme which is inside of classes class Aquila theme so we will go inside of this and then over here we have options to add action so as you can see that when you're using this add theme support we actually need to use a hook okay so there must be an example for this I just want to show it to you so here you go you can see that you have an add action oops you have an add action so you can add your action and then you call your function inside of the function you can add all of these uh, support of the features so let's do that so I'll go back to my code and over here where we have actions I'm going to add an action and like we said the hook name is after setup theme by the way if you want to learn more about hooks you can check out my hook series they're almost like 38 videos in that which tells you from basics about what hooks are and what are different hooks available when to use them okay and in class we already know we use this variable okay and then the name of the function so the name of the function let's keep it as setup theme okay 
and then let's create a function which will be a public function and let's name it as setup theme okay and inside of this the first one we're going to target will be the title tag so there's an ad theme support for title tag here you go uh, I think we did discuss about this when in the beginning of the series when we are actually discussing about why we are not adding the title hard coded right uh, when, we, when we were creating the header I, I left the title tag from here I didn't use that and I said to you that I will explain to you when we reach that point so the, here's the time when we talk about this so what this means is that this title tag if we use add theme support title tag over here if we add that then this would mean that let WordPress manage the document title so by adding the theme support we're declaring that this theme does not use a hard-coded title tag in the document head and expects WordPress to provide it for us and how would WordPress provide us the title tag it it would provide us from your customizer so if you log into the customizer let's go to the backend and if you go to customize uh, you go to site identity you have the site title and tagline right so now if you go and check in the front end it's going to open the front end for you and since you've already added the theme support I should expect to see the title tag and the title tag should have the information so as you can see over here right here title tag WordPress site so you have the title tag WordPress site and then you have the just another WordPress site awesome if you change that uh, like if you change that to Equilla and publish it and refresh you can see that it's changed now awesome so now the title uh, is being handled dynamically okay which is great 